Hi everyone. I'm coming to you from the St. Mary Ann Cope Shrine and Museum. I'm Kristen Barrett Anderson. I'm the director here. Because the museum's closed and you're not able to come, I thought I'd give you a little uh, bit of information, maybe every few days, talking about an exhibit here. This is the St. Joseph's Hospital exhibit. How very apropos for our life right now, for today, for where I'm standing here at the museum, which is on the same campus as St. Joseph's Hospital, which the Sisters of St. Francis started 151 years ago. It is a difficult time for all of us. We're all thinking about the caregivers, the patients, everything that our Marianne dedicated her life to. I think she can be of inspiration to us during this time. So I thought I'd just give a little bit of history as to Marianne and the sisters and why we are here today. So Marianne and the sisters of St. Francis used to travel into people's homes to take care of them and realize that if they opened hospitals, they could be more efficient, they could care for more patients, they could have doctors come in, they could be a whole facility to care for the people who were not being cared for, the outcasts of society. So they started St. Elizabeth's Hospital in Utica, and then in 1869, they started St. Joseph's Hospital here in Syracuse. You can see here the first hospital, this picture behind me. It was a saloon and a dance hall that was purchased right up here on the campus, and they turned it into the first St. Joseph's Hospital. Now we cover many, many, many blocks, and while it's so quiet here at the museum, we know how much work is going on around us with everyone trying to care for themselves and care for everybody else during this difficult time. So Marianne was administrator of the hospital for the first eight years. She set up rules uh, that were followed from that moment on with the sisters and followed within the US. The practices of hygiene that she set up here at St. Joseph's Hospital were the cleaning of hands. It was not being done regularly. How appropriate today that she set up rules that everyone washed their hands, that the doctors washed their hands in between patients. She saw the results of this. She knew that it worked. They cleansed everything. They did the desks and the tables and the beds and the bedding and the bandages and the floors. They set up these rules that they carried on with them to care for the thousands of patients in Hawaii that were stricken with leprosy or now known as Hansen's disease. So we know she had her faith, her belief, that this was the right thing to do, that this was what needed to be done. She said, I am not afraid of any disease. But we can't forget that she set up these practices where she knew that the sisters and everyone that she worked with were washing their hands. They were changing their clothes between dealing with patients and dealing with each other and eating and being in community. There were these rules set up. These are all things that we're now following today because we know that that's how to take care of ourselves and how we take care of our community. It's amazing the reflections, the representations, everything that we're looking at here that we're also thinking about today. It's all relevant. And I'll be back to talk about more. But for right now, everybody, wash your hands. For the sisters, for the spirit of St. Marianne, continuing her legacy today. Everyone take care of yourselves.